Now, you started acting as a kid. I did. How I did, did you break into the business? I started out right after uh, about eighth grade freshman year. Um, there was a, a girl at my school that was doing print ads, and I was like, you're getting paid to be on TV and in the newspaper. I'm like, that's for me. Let's do this. So I got the yellow pages out, and I started calling local talent agencies in Chicago. Right. And they'd be like, I'm like, hey, this is Chris O'Donnell. I'm like, I'm sorry, who are you? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, OK, we'll call you back. And it became a joke in the family that the 14-year-old is calling, cold calling agencies. And <laughs> right. Suddenly, I, uh, I got a break. Oh, that's great. Yeah. What was your first foray into uh, showbiz? The business of show. The business of show. Um, I think the first sort of big thing that I attempted to do that didn't work out so well was to audition for the Mickey Mouse Club. Oh, yeah. Did you? At uh, what time? Are we talking Timberlake, Angelera, Gosling? It was exactly that season. No. I went, I mean, I would love to say that I went really far down the line of, of you know, callbacks, but I had exactly two. And I forgot the words to A Whole New World by, Al <laughs> by Aladdin. <laughs> you know, please, the artist please Aladdin. Tell me there's an yeah. audition tape somewhere. Yeah. Oh, there probably is, if you're watching. Run the clip. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I know. Uh, I sort of wish. wish I had it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I went to, because I, I grew up in Eureka, which is Northern California, and we drove five hours to go to the audition in San Francisco. And, um, but yeah, it was that season with Justin Timberlake wow. and Ryan Gosling. And I was obsessed with this show, obsessed. I would have given anything to be part of that. Me too. I'm not even joking. Just to be in and amongst Gosling and Timberlake. Specifically. Yeah, I do, that's it. Just to, be, just to be doing those routines. Well, eventually I met Tony Luca, was, an, was another cast mate, was a, a cast member, and I used to write him love letters. <laughs> and I was listening to, and then I would pretend he would write me letters back but they were in the form of songs by Peter Cetera. So I would oh, roller skate up and down my... <laughs> this is true. This is so depressing. So <laughs> this is, this is, this is so... A this is more... This is, this is sadder than last night's In Memoriam. <laughs> Come on. Come on. So oh, I would play Peter Cetera songs and pretend that they were, like, mixtapes from Tony Luca telling me that... It oh, that's was, exceptional. It was like, I love that. No, I love is meant to be. And, and I'm like, like, oh, my God, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> then, eventually, I met Tony because he was in L.A. And, yeah. and we were both artists down here. And we went on tour together. And I stayed up in our tour bus. We went on tour. And one morning, I just asked him everything about the Mickey Mouse Club. And he yeah. was like, it was a... Show, in a good way. Like they were all living, they were like kids living in apartments. And oh, like, jeez. Loving, you can imagine. Not listening oh, to Peter Cetera. Not yeah, doing not what I was doing. <laughs>